Good morning everyone! Welcome to Papaw's Projects. On this episode we are going to take Streamlabs OBS and we're going to be using it in Google Hangouts. So stick around! Okay, so let's get on with this episode. What I want to do in this episode is show everyone uh, a way to use Streamlabs OBS in the Google Hangouts. I've seen it posted all over the internet. Um, people requesting that Streamlabs add what's called the virtual camera. People that run regular OBS have that option. It's an add-on that they can put in or a plug-in and they can add a virtual camera so that their OBS outputs um, a virtual webcam and then when you go into Google Hangouts you can select that as your camera. That way you get all your screen overlays and alerts and all that stuff while you're in the Hangouts. Streamlabs does not have that as of the time of this video. but. I have found a way to work around that, or at least for some people. I'm not 100% sure of the limitations of what this is going to work, or, or how this is going to work, but we're just going to dig into it here a little bit, and you guys can judge for yourself if it works for you. Uh, maybe you guys can play on it a little farther and, and find other options and other ways to make it work even better. I hope to see some other videos come up about it and uh, expand on this idea but I was playing around last night with this and the thought came to me and I gave it a try and I believe it I believe it's gonna work fine so we're gonna kinda test it out I did a preliminary test last night and it looked like it was gonna work fine so again the issue is without the virtual cam of OBS you have no way of getting your Streamlabs OBS into a Google Hangout with other people. Okay, well, let me go to share screen so that I can show you what I'm doing. And I apologize for all the ghosting, but I am currently using Streamlabs to record this video, so uh, I kind of got to have it that way. <clears throat> Alright, so basically all we have to do and my pictures in the way so let me take and move that picture up a little bit there we go. that helps now you can see more of what I'm doing alright so what we're gonna do we do not have virtual cam option but what we do have is a option for a projector so what I'm gonna do did not want to change screen sorry about that what I'm gonna do well I can do it with this matter of fact I can right click on a scene and I can say create projector when I do that it comes up and it says full screen display on display one or display two now, I've not tried this with only one display I'm not gonna unwire my other monitor and stuff to try it you guys can try it if you have a single monitor set up and see <clears throat> I, I do believe it's fully possible that even if you only have one monitor if you create a projector and a full screen display you can do this but I'm not I'm not 100% Let's give it a try but I do have two displays so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my second display which is my big one overhead here and I'm gonna tell it to go full screen okay so now what I have is this version here well I need to switch alright here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say let me kill that let me do this a little bit different to make it easier for you to see. Hopefully. Alright, so I'm back to where I was. We're just sharing. No projector. 
I'm going to put a projector here so we're going to bounce to the screen for a second and then I'll come back to screen sharing. So I'm going to right click on this, create projector, and I'm going to select screen number two which gave me my overlays and everything are up on that screen and they stayed. I came back to screen share here for you. Okay, now that I have that up on the other monitor, here's what I can do. I can bring up the browser. Hopefully you're seeing that. if you're seeing yeah you're seeing it okay so I can bring up the browser and I can go to Google Hangouts and video call and I don't want to invite anybody at this moment I'm just gonna open it hopefully I'm the only one here and now what I'm gonna do I'm actually in a Google Hangout okay I'm in a Google Hangout but I'm the only one here if there was others here you would see them down in the corner if you're used to Google Hangouts now all I have to do is I select over here and say share screen when it comes up for share screen I can share screen number one or screen number two select screen number two and share it and because I'm the only one here it doesn't give me the option but normally there's a little uh, menu item right here off to the right that says hide which will get rid of this green bar so that'll go away but there I have everything in my overlays and all of all of my alerts and all of my information comes up in my window as a as a camera basically in Google Hangouts so I'm going to try this later today in a hangout with several other people and see how it works but uh, hopefully I have found a way around it so I'd like for you guys to all give it a try anybody that has an interest in using their Streamlabs OBS on Google Hangouts and uh, give some feedback or do a video and, and expand on this idea and see if we can make this work. So at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that hangout. I'm just going to minimize it. I'm going to come back to my regular full screen. So there it is. It's not much. It's just an idea that I had last night to work around. I think it's going to work okay. It seems to be working um, and I didn't have to have virtual cam so maybe someday they'll come out with virtual cam for Streamlabs OBS and then it'll be even easier but until then using the projector which you can do on any of your scenes just by right clicking I'm not sharing the screen so you can't see it but anyway by right clicking uh, on your scene and hitting the projector it'll create another copy and then you can share that copy on Google Hangouts so <clears throat> that's my thought of the day I hope you enjoy it and I hope you get something from it and I hope you can take it to the next level uh, before I do head out I got a couple things I want to tell you about first of all let me uh, turn on the little ad there I want to tell you about Xyltech and a friend of mine D Dininger he's uh, starting up his channel it's actually under A Dininger currently we expect that name to get changed and it should get changed to uh, 3DPSC which is the code here 3DPSC if you go to Xyltech and they have some really awesome stuff and some good deals 
if you go to Zyltec online and you find things that you would like to, to buy, <clears throat> there is a coupon code that he has negotiated for the uh, community. And we certainly appreciate D uh, for, for taking the time to work that out. Um, anyone can get a 10% discount. And if they first sign up, you get a 10% discount. But he has negotiated a deal with them where you have a 15% discount code that never expires. And that's the code, 3DPSC. So at the time of checkout, just enter that coupon code and you should get a 15% discount. And I'm also told that I believe it was order $70 or more, get free shipping. Um, can't guarantee that yet, but uh, I'm going to get a confirmation on that and then I'll let you know in my next video. So anyway, check out Zyltec. They've got some good deals. I've got some stuff on the way right now. Uh, some amazing prices, some good equipment, good filament. You can get a roll of filament, PLA filament, for like $13 and <clears throat> then 15% off of that. So even if you're just in the market for filament, not just not extrusions or motors or electronics or anything like that, they've got it all. Go check them out. So there is uh, part number one. And part number two, last thing, I am going to ask again, please before you leave, take the time to go down and subscribe to my channel, help me grow. I thank you for coming and I will catch you in the next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you.